Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got a very interesting ROM for the S3. This is called the Temasix version 18 based on CyanogenMod Mod 12.1. Stay tuned for that. Now, if you guys have ever used a custom ROM on the S3 or may have plans for using it, you might have already heard of Temasix ROM because it's one of the most popular ROMs available for the S3 and also a few devices elsewhere, which like the Note 2, uh, Note 3, some things like that. So, yeah, uh, the developer Temasix, he is a god in the uh, S3 realms, so that is really really cool. So yeah, right now uh, this is maintained by another guy uh, with the permission from Temasix. So yeah, Temasix has m moved on to other phones. Uh, I guess it is OnePlus One. I'm not really sure about that, but hey, that is how it is. So yeah, uh, let's get started now. Uh, first of all, what you would see here is the uh, lock screen, which is a standard lollipop lock screen. Now this is actually based on. Um, uh, lollipop 5.1.1 uh, which is there so yeah uh, the locks the launcher is the standard launcher which is pretty cool uh, which has well this is basically cyanogen mod launcher so you do have all this stuff which uh, I really really like it is really cool now let's go to the settings menu and see what all stuff it gives you and okay let me be frank with you guys uh, if you have ever seen a Temasix ROM review from me, because I've already done this a lot of times, there are going to be a lot of settings. I mean a lot. Uh, this is going to be another 20 minute long video. I will try to cut things short because uh, most of the settings are already there in, in a lot of other ROMs. So I'm just going to get an overview of it. So yeah, in the about phone page, you can see it is Android 5.1.1. It does have the security level patch, which is really important because, uh, well, security is kind of a big thing on Android right now because Android is getting popular uh, by the day. So yeah, this is actually an official thematic because it is maintained by another guy. This is version 18 uh, and on 12.1 that means it is on the latest uh, well uh, kind of pseudo latest option so yeah that's really nice it also has a Linux statics to uh, permissive so exposed modules can be installed and used so there's no problem in that so yeah now let's get into the settings uh, all of these are normal settings which you would find in any other lollipop rom so nothing special in that in the display and light option you do have light live display mode which will change the color temperature of your uh, devices so that you can use them smart cover i was never able to use that and uh, i don't think it does work in this one either so yeah it also has a lcd density changer which is a really cool feature to have uh, i personally use that a lot i normally keep it uh, well below 250 so that i can have a bigger real estate it does have expanded desktop daydream uh, fun size too small um battery lights and notification light customizer which you can use for any other app so that is really nice it does support cm themes which is one of the best implementation of themes you can use these are just simple apk files you can download them and you can customize all of these stuff uh, so that is really really cool i really appreciate that uh, there is also layers i'm not really sure I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure this is no this does not support layers uh, but hey it does have themes so that is really nice it also has a trds which is actually a the the real dark slim option so it changes everything to dark versions of it itself so that is going to be really really useful it also has a override custom color and a switch theme like uh, on date on daytime or light condition example so you do have a few options in there the notification option you do, do have option to set up the heads up notification so you can enable disable uh, heads up notification you can change the timer time settings so it will actually give you a ZZ option which you can click to snooze the notification all that stuff is available here uh, in the lock screen option it does give you a few options like uh, gesture uh, unlock which is really useful I mean I prefer that it also has a lock uh, lock icon to enable torch and also double tap anywhere to sleep again so if you are using your phone for uh, checking out time uh, that is a really good feature you can double tap anywhere on the screen to make, uh, let it go to sleep again so that well, your power button is saved again because yeah that is real thing button layout now i have actually enabled navigation bar buttons because i personally use uh, my navigation bar buttons a lot yeah that will actually disable the hardware buttons there is an option for that here so yeah you have to use that also 
pretty nice uh, this does give you a lot of options like keyboard cursor controls playback controls using volume keys all of that is available it does have slim pie which is really nice to have uh, you can enable that and uh, the slim pie option is this one and it does work out really nicely so yeah now battery life uh okay one thing you have to keep in mind is that the battery life is not going to be the best on this one because it has so much features in it uh, crammed into it that uh yeah you will not be getting the best battery life on s3 rom because well well let's face it aosp is not the best battery giving roms on the s3 so yeah that's it in the personal setting now this is where all the extra stuff comes in uh status bar options you can op uh, change the uh, clock options date time position um color font size you can even change the font style to condensed to condensed uh, or whatever you like font size can be changed you can take it smaller larger whatever you want i've taken kept it like really small date option date style a second clock uh, battery style you can actually change that to uh, icon landscape icon portrait all of that option is available also percentage inside the icon outside the icon brightness control by styling up across the uh, status bar uh, yeah, activity indicators all of these are available uh, all of these can be selected this is, these are not right now exclusive to this rom right now because there are, these are available in other roms also so yeah in the notification or, or drawer option you do have a few options here like uh, the reordering of styles of the tiles and there are a lot of tiles available so all of these can be changed it does have compass which uh, i would like to point out because that is one of my favorite ones you can also enlarge the first two rows so that uh, you can have these two rows uh, these two tiles enlarged and with sub menu so that is also really cool um, disable on lock screen all of these options are available nice and uh, task, task manager is something which i really appreciate because it will give you a, a quick setting to close out stuff you don't need so that is really cool the temasek spare parts you do have a few options like app circle bar which you can swipe from right or left wherever you choose to have a, a circle app bar where you can add a few applications where you can quick select stuff app bar is also the same thing but instead of a circle it will give you a bar so yeah clock widget is the same clock widget which is available with the mass uh, with the cyanogen mod so you can also enable that gesture anywhere is probably one of my favorite feature if you have ever seen any of my videos i normally give a huge shout out to this one because uh this is something which i always uh, uh, like because it will give you unlimited sort of options to choose whatever you want from any screen so yeah that is really cool in the lock screen options you do have option for weather and middle screen shortcuts which will be there which is a slim thing uh, bottom corner shortcuts you can also customize those uh, from here so that is really cool in the recent panel in the recent panel you can actually uh, consider what all things you want you can change the icon uh, location the clear all button location to bottom right bottom left ever anywhere you want the search bar on there all that can be customized from here uh, it does have slim recents and omni switch which is really cool i mean if you like that one you are not alienated you do have this option available so yeah you have a lot of stuff to do here screen and animation settings this is these are the aokp settings so you do have a lot of options in here like system animation uh, touch okay disable touch when screen is off uh, all of that is available which is really really nice to have and yeah so that much is it in the extra settings uh, which is temasek spare parts which is the holy grail for settings and all that so it's really nice uh, rest of everything it does have privacy option app ops which is privacy guard which will help you uh, select what all is available for a application like file explorer uh, is it can it access bluetooth you can actually delete that so yeah you can have a lot of stuff from here so that you are secured whisper push is a cyanogen mod feature which will which is an encrypted sms service which is really nice it also has a system app remover which you must uh tread with caution because this can break your phone and if you know what this is well enough it'll work so yeah so yeah i guess that much is it in the extra settings it does have an ota updater which is pretty cool it will search for an update and if you have a delta update i'm not really sure if delta updates are su uh, supported it's probably not but these are available ot updates are available so you can download it directly into your room uh, into your phone and uh will flash it so yeah you are saving time there so now the extra stuff uh it comes with almost everything you need it has come it comes with a camera app it comes with a browser it comes with a a, a file manager to file manager to be honest i actually installed this one because i needed something else so yeah it does come with a lot of stuff so you don't really you are ready to go on from the get-go you don't really need to wait for something so yeah uh, i have actually checked the gps settings on this 
and it does work there are no problem with the GPS in here so yeah that is uh, cleared so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty nice which uh, well if you have already seen the Classic boot animation once it is the same so yeah skip to about two to three minutes so here is the Tamasix ROM boot animation which is really really awesome. Uh, it is a super power sanitation mod so yeah that's all I can say about this. So guys there you have it that is the Tamasix ROM. Uh, let me show you guys the benchmark score which is pretty good. I mean yes it is a mediocre score which you will be getting. I'm just uh, ruining the surprise right now so yeah. So yes, there you have it. That is the score which I received this time, which is also, uh, this one is quite, well, medium, I would say. A uh, bit lower score, uh, like 25,000 is the normal score which I received from it, which is not a bad thing at all. That is a very good score, which you can get from the N22 benchmark score, so yeah. So I guess that much is it about the ROM in the conclusion. Uh, I've done lots of uh, Tamasix ROM reviews and uh, Tamasix ROM has always been one of the best bet to go uh, if you want uh, stability, performance and uh, well mediocre battery life uh, and want to be on the latest version of Android. So that is still not changed. It is a really stable ROM for me at least and it does work. Uh, almost everything works. I didn't have any FC issues yet. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.